Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Flow with Zoe. Today's class is going to be an advanced vinyasa flow class. So we are picking up the tempo of my usual videos. So the flow is going to be a little bit faster. I'm going to include some arm balances and some more challenging poses. So this class is perfect if you regularly practice yoga um, or you've got a little bit of experience in yoga and you're just wanting to sort of up the ante a little bit and sort of push your body. Um, but remember to listen to your body to sort of modify any of the poses if you need to, to give things a miss if they're not for you. This is your practice, so tailor it to yourself. Um, so with that being said, grab a mat, grab some water, and let's get flowing. Okay guys, we are gonna start our class at the end of our mats, just coming down into our child's pose. Relaxing the body on the exhale. Receiving that inhale deep into the belly, allow it to expand. Relax on that exhale. Just stay with that breath, find a few breaths here. Just receiving and letting go. Setting our intention to stay present stay in the now, to bring the mind back every time it wanders. As you set that intention to yourself, we're just going to slowly start to walk the fingertips towards the end of the mat, or towards the front of the mat, lengthening through the spine, through the shoulders, and pausing. We're going to find a gentle bind, so we're going to thread our needle, let's send that Right arm underneath the left, come down to that right shoulder. Left arm round the back, see if you can find that right thigh. Pause here, let the hips sink down towards the heels. And gently unravel the arms. Finding that bind opposite side, so send the left arm underneath the right, come down to the shoulder side of the head and find that bind around the back. Keeping that breath down in the belly. Gently releasing all the way back into that child's pose. We're going to inhale as we come through to our tabletop, the knees coming underneath the hips. We're just going to warm up our core. So we're going to just float that right arm forward, spread the fingers. So that left leg back, flex the foot. Tighten the core, drawing belly button back up towards the spine. See if you can let that right arm float back. Palms spreading to the mat, squeeze into the tricep. Now we're gonna see if we can find that left foot with that right hand. And you can pause here, just squeezing that left heel in towards that left glute. If you want to find a little opening through the chest, a little back bend, and press that left foot up in towards that right hand. Being mindful of the lower back. Perfect, fixing that gaze to the point in front. And releasing, extend that right arm, left leg. Good, exhale it back down. Inhale, that left arm floats up. Right leg back, flex the foot. Good, tighten that core. Float that left arm back, spread fingertips, palm to the mat. Let's see if we can find that right foot. Either squeezing in the heel, pressing that foot up into the hand. See if you can extend the hand and foot away from the body. And releasing. Good, extend back into the arm and leg. And come back down into that tabletop. We're going to tip the toes and we're going to hover, so lift the knees off the mat. Head stays in line with the spine, suck that belly button back to the core. And exhale as we press all the way back. Just come into our first downward facing dog. You can hold still, you can walk that dog out. Listen to your body and just do whatever feels good. I'm going to take 
this little eagle legs here. So we're going to see if we can wrap that right leg around the left. You might be able to wrap it around once. If you can lift up that left heel, come onto the toes. We're going to wrap those right toes round. Then from here, see if we can press the forehead towards that right knee, sinking into that left knee. Good. Inhale, just float through to plank. Stay in those eagle legs. Little pause here. Exhale, press the body back. Downward facing dog, release the legs. Good, we're going to wrap that left leg around the right. See if we can lift up that right heel, wrap the toes round, and sink the body forward. Inhale, flow into plank. Exhale, back to that down dog, release the legs. Good, exhale, let's flow it out. And then gaze towards the hands. We're floating those feet forward so we light on that jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale into that forward fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up to standing. Opening that chest to the top, gentle back bend. Exhale, swan dive all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, jumping back through our chaturanga. Inhale to our upward facing dog. Exhale, back into that downward facing dog. Here from here, we're going to inhale as that right leg lifts. We're going to open out those hips. It's coming into three legged dog. You're going to see if we can stack right hip over left, let that right heel drop to that left glute. For that challenge, we're going to see if we can come down to that left forearm, pulling those right fingertips underneath the shoulder. If you can balance it, see if you can float, you're allowed to wobble that right arm up towards the ceiling. You might even be able to find that right foot with that right hand. Uh, this is hard, and hold five, wherever you are, you might just be on that fingertip. Four, three, good, two. We're going to see if you can press back up into that three-legged dog. Extend. Good. Coming back to our full down, facing dog, changing sides. Inhale, that left leg lifts, extend away. Exhale, stack those hips, drop the heel. Take it down to right forearm. Let those left fingers come underneath that left shoulder. Now do the pause here or see if you can float. That left arm up one side might be easier than the other. We're allowed to walk. Be careful here though. Now if you can find that foot, we're going to hold it. Good. Ooh. Wherever you are, we're going to hold it for I'm going to extend back into that three-legged dog. Go back to down dog. So the gaze towards the hands. Let's float those feet forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. So here, the hands can come round the back of the legs. They can just come either side of the feet. Inhale, all up to standing. Open that chest. Exhale, swan dive back down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, jump back to our chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Go from here, we're going to float into our plank. So, bringing shoulders over the wrists. We're going to bend into that right knee. Send that right foot up towards the ceiling, little pause, flex the foot. We're going to step that right foot over the left, drop the hips, inhale, lift into a wild thing, let that chest open, and let that right arm drop back. Exhale as we gently come all the way back to plank. Good, exhale through our chaturanga, inhale upward facing. 
exhale back into our downward facing dog. Good, let's change that inhale, flow into plank. Good, bend into that left knee, send that left foot towards the ceiling. Good, let's step that left foot over the right. Drop into the hips, inhale, lift. And keep breathing here. You opening that chest, that heart center. Exhale as we gently come back to plank. Exhale through our chaturanga. Inhale into our upward facing dog. Exhale back down into downward facing dog. Then pause in here. We're going to inhale as we float into plank. Exhale, we're going to lower all the way down to the belly. Tucking the elbows in. Releasing here. We're going to interlace the fingers behind the back. Let's find our locust pose. So as we inhale, the chest lifts. And those feet, lower legs lift off the floor. Go try and pull the shoulders back. Good, exhale, lower. Inhale to lift. Just strengthen the muscles in that lower back. Exhale. This time either staying with the locust pose or taking it up into a bow pose that's slightly more advanced. See if we can find the front of the ankles and keep the knees in line with those hips. As we inhale, lift, press, the feet up into the hands, lift the chest. Good, exhale, let's lower. See if we can find two more here. We'll be opening out a little bit further each time. Inhale. Exhale. Good, last one. Lifting up, inhale. Exhale, release. From here, the hands are coming underneath the shoulders. We're going to tuck the toes. Keep those elbows squeezed in. Let's press back to plank. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, we're going to let that right leg lift. We let your dog. Good. We're going to step that right foot between the hands as flow into a high lunge. Inhale. Good. Our hips are square. Short side of that mat. We're going to bring the hands down into the heart center. We're going to flow into our warrior three. Let's in the left. The body flow forward. Let's extend that left leg. Hips are square. If the fingertips need to come down to the mat, they can. We're going to lower down four times. We're going to tap that left knee to the back of that right calf. So coming down for one. Coming up for one. Go down for two. Up for two, down for three, up for three, last time, down for four, up for four, let's see if we can find stalk pose, so inhale the arms lift, left leg lifts with us, good, let's hold it here, we can find dancer's pose, so this left hand's going to catch the front of that left foot, we can see if we can come forward, a little bend into that right knee, extend the arm. And if you can here, press that left foot up into the hand. Good, find that point of focus, find that drishti. Good, we're going to come back into stalk, inhale. Exhale, we're going to step back into our warrior two. Good, hips nice and open. We're going to turn to the long side of the mat, so turn those right toes in. We're going to inhale as the palms come together over the head. Exhale, swan dive down, let the hands bind the outsides of the legs. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, into our forward fold, let the elbows bend out to the sides. Bring the crown of the head down, good. And you can just breathe, hold it here, let the body come down a little bit further every time you exhale out. If you wish to advance it, see if you can find your headstand here. 
to either the tripod headstand, if that's what you practice, or interlacing the fingers together, placing the head into the hands like a little cradle. It's hard to do with a bun in my hair. And see if you can allow those toes to lift. Uh, coming up into that headstand. This is optional stay in that wide leg fold if that's where you are. It's hard to talk here. Good, let's just find a couple of breaths wherever you are. And if you're in, that headstand gently coming out. See if you can take it back into that fold. Good, inhale as we roll up through the spine. Good, let's come back to warrior two exhale. Let's go all the way out so as we cut the hands round that right foot. Bring that right leg back. Exhale through our chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Perfect, let's just change sides. Inhale, that left leg extends. Three-legged dog. Let's come it up into high lunge, inhale. So let's float it in to our warrior three, hands staying at the heart centre. Remember if you need to, here, fingertips come down to the mat. Go flex that right foot. Go just four times. Knee to calf, so down for one. Extend for one. Down for two. Extend for two. Down for three. Extend for three. Last one, down for four. Extend for four, inhale, keep that right leg lifted. Stalk. Then exhale, find dancer's pose. Press that foot away into the hands. Good, breathe. If you wobble, come back up and try and find this pose again. Inhale, let's take it back up to stalk. Exhale, let's find warrior two. Get that wide leg stance again, so turn those left toes in. Inhale, palms give over the head. Exhale, come back into that wide leg forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bend those elbows out to the side. Crown of that head coming down and again. If you want to practice your headstand here, take it up into your headstand. I'm just going to stay in my forward fold. Whatever you are, just breathing, not holding the breath, letting that breath flow. Then inhale as we release it through that headstand, slowly coming back into that wide leg forward fold. Inhale, let's roll up. Back into warrior two. Let's flow it out, so take those hands around that left foot and onto the right toes. Come back to plank, exhale, chin to render. Inhale, upward facing dog. Good, exhale all the way into down facing dog. Okay, we're just going to widen those legs, edges of the mat. And as we walk the hands in, we're going to turn the toes out to the side. We're going to come down into a little yogi squat. As lifting the chest towards the thumbs, inhale, try and create that straight line. Crown the head down to that tail. And we practice our crow pose. So for an easier option, keeping the insides of the knees on the elbows as we float forward. See if we can lift one foot and the other. Uh, and just holding it as long as you can. If you come back out, see if you can come back into this pose. For a more advanced crow pose, then bringing the knees up to the triceps. See if you can get a bit of height here. Play around. Good at finding that yogi squat when you're ready. It's hard to talk and do crow pose. So we're going to walk it all the way out back to our plank. So turn the toes in. Walk those hands to plank. I'm going to hold our chest and we halfway. As we exhale, tuck the elbows in. Good. Hover for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale into down facing dog. 
we're going to take crow pose one last time. If you can jump and flow into your crow, if you've got that control, then give that go. If not, we're going to step the feet to the outsides of the hands. Flow up into that crow pose. Whether the knees are on the outsides or the knees are up the triceps. Here. We're going to see if we can jump back to a chaturanga. So this is hard. You might just have to step the feet back. Try it with the knees resting on the elbows or the knees of the triceps. So coming into that crow. And see if you can shoot those legs back. Keep the elbows tucked. Good. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Get an exhale. Last time. Downward facing dog. Melt the chest forward. Sing the heels down to that mat. Couple of breaths here. I'm going to jump to see this. So see if we can float those feet forward, crossing the ankles. To sink into the knees. Good, coming all the way to seated. So from here, we're going to find our log pose. So we're just stacking the lower legs on top of each other. If you need to bring a block underneath, you can. And it doesn't matter which side you choose to do first. Good. You might feel quite tight when you first come into this pose, but then the body might start to release. Good. From here, we're just going to see if we can walk those hands round that left knee. And exhale as we fold inwards, we might be able to come to the forearms, dropping the forehead either down to the knee or towards the foot. You should feel a nice stretch all the way through the side of the body. Deep stretch into the glutes. So we're going to let those hands walk round opposite side. Just be aware of the sensations that arise in the physical body. change sides. You might find one side a lot easier than the other. Good, let's walk those forearms to the left. And breathing in and out of the belly here. Let's take those forearms round to the right. Shavasana here, straight legs. But if you can, let the knees drop out to the sides, let the hands rest on the belly. We're going to close our practice here. So get comfortable. Close the eyes and let's go inwards. Let's return our mind back to our internal world. We spend so much time focused on our external. So let's take this time to give our bodies the awareness they deserve. Becoming aware of the face, we hold so much tension here through the day. Notice how it feels to completely allow that tension to melt away. Forehead softening, eyebrows drifting away from each other. Allow the jaw to relax. Shoulders heavy. Arms softening. Hands heavy on your belly. Now become aware of the rise and fall of the breath. Feel the hands rising on the inhale. Sinking on that exhale. Inhale, we receive. 
receive the breath, grateful for the breath. Exhale, we let go. See if you can soften any more into the hips and into the lower legs. And then just stay with the breath. Bring the mind back every time it wanders. Thank you. 